Hi everyone, this is Mike Sherry and I'm back at Paul Sherry RVs and I am super excited today, excited to tell you about a discount. So I get a little bit giddy about discounts and the best part about it is the discounts that we receive here at Paul Sherry's, we pass those savings on to you. So part of my job is I negotiate with the manufacturers to make sure that we are able to buy the RVs at the lowest price possible and therefore able to sell them to you at the lowest price possible. And this particular motorhome I'm standing in today is a very unique scenario because the price we paid for this RV is the same price we paid for it eight years ago. And you may think to yourself, well, Mike, what's the big deal? In this industry, that's a big deal right now because the last four and five years, we've seen the price go up, up, up as the every tariff comes into place, the price goes up as uh, the labor market gets stronger and therefore there's uh, less people looking for work, wages go up and therefore the price of these RVs go up as all that happens, the materials price goes up and therefore it's just, it's compounded exponentially and we've just seen the price of RVs go up, 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 up the last four and five years. So when we were able to make this deal on these Chateau 22Es, I got excited because we we're able to sell this motor home for the same price we were selling it back in 2013, which is really unbelievable. So uh, enough about that. For current pricing and availability, make sure you check the links that I post below. Uh, that'll have the current pricing and availability on there. Also, I'm, I'm testing out a new camera today, so I'm sorry if it's, it's not quite as fluid as it sometimes is. So I'm going to turn this camera around. We're going to jump around the outside and then go on the inside and check out this new this is a 2020 model chateau 22e all right let's take a look outside this chateau 22e is built on the uh, chevrolet about said ford almost all motorhomes are built on the ford chassis this is the chevrolet uh, with a 6.0 liter Vortec V8 engine. Uh, Ford pretty much has the motorhome market, but Chevrolet still is in the game. Uh, they build a good quality chassis. They just don't build a lot of them. That's why you don't see a lot of motorhomes on this chassis. So it's kind of hard to get this chassis is what I'm saying. Uh, this is an all white uh, chateau built by Thor. Thor is the largest producer of RVs in the United States. This is, uh, the finish on this is a Joe Coat finish. Uh, so what that means is you do not see the individual fibers in the fiberglass. It's a nice, smooth, clear finish. And you might think to yourself, well, what's the big deal about that? It's a big deal when you go to clean it. It's so much easier for the dirt to run off with just a little bit of soap compared to where you have the individual fibers in. That dirt kind of gets caught in those fibers, if that makes sense. So a Class C motorhome, so we're gonna have the overhang over here. That's going to uh, hold an extra sleeping area and we'll notice that once we get inside. This motorhome is fully self-contained. And what I mean by that, it has an onboard power station that we're looking at here. This is an Onan uh, built by Cummins, 4,000 kilowatt generator. This generator will power anything and everything inside this motorhome anywhere. It runs off the same fuel tank that the 6.0 liter Vortec engine runs off of, so there's no secondary fuel tank. Uh, it's quiet and it's an onboard power plant. Now, I get the question oftentimes, Mike, what do I need my generator uh, to be running for? Uh, there's three items in any RV that you need to have electricity to run, and that's going to be your rooftop air conditioner, your microwave, and your televisions. And then of course, if you have anything plugged into an outlet like a coffee maker or a crock pot, that of course will need to be done. But everything else in this motorhome, you can run off your 12 volt power system or your propane system. Coming up onto the roof, you have a nice ladder. Uh, it's gonna be a, a synthetic rubber roof up there and it is a fully walk-on roof. I have the power running out just maybe a not even a quarter of the way, uh, but it is a power awning. It is an adjustable awning as well. The Chateau has a gigantic storage compartment here. So you can see it's nice and big. I would say three, four foot deep, uh, four or five foot length there. Uh, this black part here is the Rotocast material, which is going to be waterproof. Uh, you can use it as a cooler. Uh, you can literally hose that out. It's a nice uh, spot, nice thing to have in your cargo area. All right, coming on up here again, this is the Chateau 22E. This is the 2020 model year. Special buy on these particular ones here at Paul Sherry's. 
I like the chateaus because there's no power step or manual step to get in. They build the chassis as such that you can actually walk in this camper. The steps are built into the camper inside of the door, as you can see here. So they're out of the elements, very easy to get in. You notice there's not a lot of distance here between the ground and the that first step uh, a lot of companies don't do that and i've always liked that about the chateaus also the chateaus they upfit their chassis we can't see that i can't show you this on the camera but the raw chassis coming from chevrolet here is built up to chevrolet specs well thor say look those specs aren't quite good enough for us to be able to build a motorhome on efficiently and uh really nice so they send this chassis to more ride to allow that chevrolet chassis to be upfitted so it's a flat surface to build on and it also improves your ride decreases the vibration and rattles of this camper and it's just something that you don't see uh, but it's something they do to every thor chateau all right coming in the inside i'm just going to pan around to the back and we'll start up here in the cockpit. So over the cockpit is your extra sleeping. Uh, that uh, piece right there will fit in this section here, and that's going to come to a, you know, about a double size bed up there. Nice bed. Uh, you have power hookups there. Uh, these are going to be your USB. And then over here, you have your big 40 inch television. That's on a swing arm. So that's going to come out here and you're going to be able to see that even all the way back from the back bed that I'll show you here in a second. Uh, the cockpit is your standard uh, Chevrolet van cutaway chassis cockpit, two chairs, uh, door entries from both sides, as you can see here. And what I always tell my customers in these Class C motorhomes, uh, when you're driving these, if you didn't, if no one told you were driving a motorhome, you wouldn't know it because it's the same as just driving a full size van. All the controls are the same. Your controls on the steering wheel are the same. Uh, you have power windows, power locks on this model. Uh, you also have a backup camera on this model. Uh, so go ahead and turn the key on. I turn the key on and then if I were to go into reverse, uh, it's going to pop up right what's behind us here, as you can see there. So that's going to help you when you're parking this camper uh, or when you're in tight spots, just to see what's behind you. And then hooked into that radio is going to be a USB and an HDMI port. And then they've added this here, uh, which is a 110 volt outlet, which is nice. Um, that's going to be separate from your house side. There's a built-in inverter to that. All right, coming back to the house side, uh, as we walk in, uh, this Thor Chateau is prepped for a solar panel. It's got the readout control right there. You come with a battery disconnect, some light controls, your awning uh, controls right there. And then this here is an extended countertop. And then above here, we have some more controls. This is what we call the monitor panel. It's gonna control your generator, which I showed you outside. You can start and stop it in here. Uh, this has your levels for your different holding tanks, as you can see there, your water pump control, and then your water heater controls right here. Now this water heater is a special water heater. It's gonna work off LP gas or electricity. All right, onto the kitchen. We have some nice cabinet work up top here, all solid uh, drawer and door faces and microwave up top here down below we have your range it's the three burners uh, now this is all propane gas so it's going to cook really efficiently and then down here uh, is also your gas uh, or sorry two drawers here for storage and then coming over here we have your little bit of countertop space sunk down sink that allows you to have this nice countertop extension uh, there and then a nice residential style faucet next to this is going to be your RV refrigerator freezer up top refrigerator down below and then across from the kitchen it has this dinette now this dinette's special it does come down for extra sleeping has built-in cup holders and it's got the nice dream dinette uh, mechanism that allows it to go up and down really easily. There's no pedestals or pegs right in your knees on this particular dinette. A big bay window there, as you can see, I've got the blind closed. It has the fabric shade. Uh, up top here, we have uh, your rooftop air conditioner. So that's gonna keep this RV nice and cool. Same size air conditioner they put in 30 foot campers. So this 22 footer, it's really gonna do a nice job. Um, have a nice bed here. It's uh, a corner bed. You can sleep two people in it. And 
heating or sorry your uh yeah heating controls here light controls and then a lot of storage all the way around uh, i like this little nook it has a built-in usb charger in that nook so great spot for your phone at night uh, and then for your hanging clothes, that's where uh, you would put in this mirrored wardrobe. Uh, you notice the hanging rod up there. And then you have a drawer down below. Uh, coming into here, uh, this door here leads into the bathroom. It's an all-in-one bathroom, but it's nice spacious for this size of uh, motorhome. Typically, they are much smaller. You have your shower in the rear with a skylight. You have a fan in here to, uh, you know, for ventilation. You have a uh, hot and cold water sink. Nice storage here behind the mirrored medicine cabinet. And a stool, foot flush stool. And there's a good space here at the footprint of the bathroom. You could get changed in here uh, if you needed to. All right, that completes this uh, Chateau 22E. So make sure you click the links below. Check them out. Uh, quite the deal there. So thanks for watching, everyone.